amazing people how are you all doing hope you're doing good welcome back to another tutorial today's tutorial will be on how to make an hairline dress and it will be a long dress i already did a detailed tutorial on how to make a short a-line dress but today's tutorial will be on how to make a long a-line dress and i'll be making use of this african print fabric which is four yards. So before we get right into it, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do that now. Kindly click on the subscribe button down below, that red button. Just give it a tap and subscribe. Also turn on the post notification bell beside it so you get notified each time I upload a new video. Don't forget to also like and share this video. Without further ado, Let's get right into it. So guys, the length of this um, fabric is 45 inches. And the length of the gown I'm working with is 54 inches. The actual length is 53 inches plus 1 inch to fold it at the hem. That is 54 inches. So I won't use this, um, I won't use the length in like manner for the dress. I will have to fold it along the width so the length will be enough. So I'll fold it in like manner. So I'll be folding both the front and the back together since I'll be drafting both the front and the back together. So I will fold it now into four. Can you see? First, I fold it along the width of the fabric. Since I have the same pattern, if I fold it um, along the length and along the width, they are the same pattern. So it will help to manage the fabric. So I'll fold it along the width in like manner. I'll measure 54 inches. 54 inches, then cut it out. Then measure 54 inches again for the back. So I will do that now. So guys, I already folded the fabric into four. So I have one, two, three, four. Can you see? So I cut out the length of the length of the dress I'm working with, which is 54 inches, inclusive of one inch allowance to fold it at the hem. So this dress you know, will be dartless and we also have no zipper at the back. So I have the folded part. This will be for the center front and the center back towards me. Now, the first thing I will do, you can see I already ruled my starting line. So this will be the starting line. So to determine the amount of fabric you will fold, you will get the circumference of the largest part of your body divided by 4 plus 7 inches. So the circumference of the largest measurement I'm working with is the hip, and it is 42 inches. And 42 inches divided by 4, that is 10 and a half inches, plus 7 inches, that is 17 and a half inches. So I have more than that here. So I'll just cut it off. So right there, I have 17 and a half inches. So I still have enough towards the end here. So just get the circumference of the largest part divided by four plus seven inches, between six to seven inches. So guys, let's get started. The first measurement I will insert for the vertical measurement is the chest line. And how do you determine that? That is the bust circumference divided by six plus one and a half inches the bust circumference measurement i'm working with is 40 inches 40 divided by 6 is 658 inches plus one and a half inches that is 818 inches so that would be the chest line so we insert that from here 818 inches
Now I will insert the vertical waist measurements, the waist point, which is 16 and a half inches. 16.5 is right here. And I have the length of the gown, which is 54 inches. Now, let me roll them into straight lines. First, the chest line. And the waist line. Now I will insert the horizontal measurements. First, the 3 inches, 8 inches standard to get the shoulder slope. So 3 inches and the 8 inches standard. Then at the 8 inches point, I'll come down by 1 inch. And connect it to the three inches point. Then now we insert my shoulder measurements. The shoulder measurements I'm working with is 16 inches. So 16 divided by 2, that is 8 inches. So I have it on the 8 inches point. I will also insert that on the chest line. 8 inches. And connect it in like manner. So right there, I will get the midpoint from the shoulder slope to the chest line. I have seven and a half inches, so half of that is three three quarter inches, which is right here. Then I will come in by three quarter inch for the front armhole. Since I'm drafting both the front and the back together, so I'll be drafting both armholes together. And I will input quarter of the bust measurements. The bust circumference measurement I'm working with is 40 inches. So 40 divided by 4, that is 10 inches. I will insert that here. So at this point, you can add each allowance of quarter inch to half inch. But I'll make it the exact quarter of the bust measurement, which is 10 inches. Then I'll use my hammer cuff to connect it first to the back armhole. The midpoint here is the back armhole. And also to the front armhole. That is the three quarter inch that I came in by for the front armhole. And from there, I'll connect it to the shoulder slope. Can you see that? So this is the front arm hole, while this is the back arm hole. Now going over to the waist, I will insert quarter of the waist measurements. The waist circumference measurement I'm working with is 36. 36 inches divided by 4, that is 9. But at this point, I will add half inch is allowance. So that will be 9 and half inches, which is right here. Now for the side seam allowance, I will add one and a half inches for the side seam allowance. So on the bust, on the chest line for the bust, I will add one and a half inches. And also on the waist line, I will add one and a half inches for the side seam allowance. And connect it.
So towards the hem, I will measure 17 and a half inches. Can you see right here? So I'll just make it 18 inches. I'll make the lower part 18 inches. And connect it from the waist to the hem. So using my straight ruler, can you see? I'll connect it in like manner. So you will note that I didn't make use of the quarter of the hip measurement for this dress because it is an A-line dress. So it is not tapered or fitted towards the hip. Now, this is what we have. Now going over to the hem, I will just come up by one and a half inches at this point because I don't want a pointed edge here. I will go up by one and a half inches And just connect it from here to the hem. So I'll connect it. You see, in like manner. Now let's go over to the neckline. Now for the neckline, you can make use of any neckline of your choice. So for the neck width. I'll be making use of four inches for the neck width. Four inches is right here. And for the neck depth, since I'll be cutting the front and the back together, the neck depth for the back is two inches. While the neck depth for the front is also four inches. So I will connect it. First to the front, and sorry, this is the front, this is the back neckline, the two inches length. Now to the front, I'll connect it to the front neckline too, in like manner. Can you see that? So that is how we have. So this is the back neckline. This is the back neckline. While well, this is the front neckline. And this is the back armhole. And this is the front armhole. So when I want to start cutting it now, I will cut the back neckline and the back armhole first. Before coming back to the front neckline and the front armhole. So I will cut it now. So guys, this is what we have. Can you see? And for the shoulder, I added half inch allowance at the shoulder to join both shoulders together, both the front and the back shoulders together. So don't forget that. That is also necessary. So I will remove the back pattern now and trace out the front neckline and the front armhole. So this is the front hand. I'll cut out the neckline and the front armhole.
so guys this is all we have for our long a-line dress can you see how it is so this is for the front this is for the back um, piece can you see so all you have to do is just to finish up the neckline with a bias strip or a facing and also taking the sides and add your sleeve that is if you are using a sleeve and you are if you are making it a sleeveless dress as well you just finish it up in like manner and also folding the hem so guys we've come to the end of today's tutorial if this tutorial has been helpful kindly give me a giant thumbs up and also if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please do that now click on the subscribe button down below thank you for joining me i will see you in my next video bye